What are we talking about today? Rolex, but not about its retail value or how to spot a fake. Well, you take this uh, Rolex Commander. This watch. Five long years he wore this watch up his ass. Then he died of dysentery. Just about. Hi guys, it's your boy Rich here, back at it again, and whenever we talk about Rolex, it's usually about its strong resale value, or how to spot a fake, or any comparison versus Rolex. Rolex is always the leading subject in a watch conversation, but today we're going to talk about five reasons we should love Rolex, if we already don't. Let's start with number five. Rolex uses a different type of steel than everyone else. And a lot of watch lovers appreciate this because it's another trait that further distinguishes a Rolex watch from all the other watches. Rolex uses a 900, no, sorry, the 904L, sorry 007, you're for Omega. You're another show. <laughs> Rolex uses the 904L steel versus the 316L that the rest of the industry uses. And the 904 is much more rust and corrosion resistant, it's harder, and it holds up incredibly well to polishes. And this is important because a Rolex is considered an heirloom piece or one that's passed on from generations such as mine. And along the way, there are going to be polishes and this helps it age really well. So in 1988, Rolex debuted their first 904L steel watch with a few versions of the Sea Dweller. And by around 2003, Rolex moved their entire steel production to 904L. So why does the rest of the watch industry give Rolex the satisfaction of being the only one using such a unique steel? Well, for Rolex it makes sense because they produce about a million watches a year and they had to invest in new machinery, tooling and training to work with the 904 steel. So for the rest of the watch industry, it wouldn't make sense, it wouldn't make a cost efficiency sense, if that's a word, or financial sense, to invest in all the machinery, tooling, and retraining their technicians and watchmakers to work with the, the 904 steel. This is not just a matter of swapping out their inventory of 316 with the 904. So because of all the costs that are involved in using and working with the 904, it wouldn't make a lot of financial sense for the other watch manufacturers. And the benefit of working with the 904 is obvious whenever you handle any steel Rolex. This next reason may not be something that most of us think about, but I have a lot of respect for it and it's important to me. And that's Rolex's quality control and security measures. It wouldn't be an unfair assumption to assume that due to the volume of watches that flow through that Rolex building that an inferior Rolex or even a fake might slip through, but that's impossible. It's been said that Fort Knox has nothing on Rolex. And I wanna, I wanna read something here regarding Rolex's security. Their rank and file watch assembly teams have an interesting system on their desks that require their ID badge be docked at all times after being identified with a fingerprint scan. Everything is scanned and cataloged. Accessing the Rolex safe requires entering a bank vault door and passing an iris scanner that identifies you via your eyes. When Rolex parts move from location to location, they are transported in highly discreet unmarked trucks. And I really understand this because it's been said that Rolex is, good, is as good as money. Rolex makes their own gold. All of their gold and platinum are made in house. So Rolex will receive solid 24 karat gold bars and turn them into 18 karat yellow, white, and ever rose gold, which is their version of rose gold. Large kilns under hot flames are used to melt and mix the metals, which are then turned into cases and bracelets. And because Rolex controls their own production and machinery, they're able to select the best looking portions of their gold. And I believe Rolex is the only watch manufacturer to make their own gold and have a real foundry in-house. This is taking controlling your materials to the extreme and it's not something we probably think about but now that we're aware of it it's another reason to appreciate Rolex. One of the biggest misconceptions about Rolex is that they're machine made on an assembly line and I think this assumption comes because there are so many Rolexes that are made uh, every year and as I said earlier about a million watches a year and they have about 3,000 employees but this is false. Every Rolex is made by hand. The only time that they have a machine aiding them is when it's used to apply the right pressure for example of setting their hands or attaching pins but everything is made by hand and as I mentioned earlier they are obsessed with their quality control. Everything is checked 
rechecked and checked again, even before and after they are sent off to Cosc for chronometer, chronometer certification. I want to quickly touch on Tudor because most of us are aware that Tudor is the sister company to Rolex. Tudor is not made in the same facilities as Rolex. They have their own completely independent plant. However, they do not have their own quality control. Tudor shares the same QC as Rolex because Rolex's quality control is so perfect. And the number one reason to love Rolex is probably no surprise. And that's that Rolex makes everything in-house. The real value of the Rolex factory is from their tools and their know-how. It's not something that anyone else can duplicate. And making everything in-house allow allows Rolex to be truly independent. And it's been said many times, there is a watch industry and then there with Rolex. And regardless of how you feel about the way the Rolex looks, there's no denying the sense of confidence and the dignity the Rolex brand communicates. So the next time we hear someone tell us Rolex is overrated, we know it's not. Thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time. Let's talk about Rolex's resale. Let's not. Yeah, it's been done too many times. And everything Rolex makes is and everything Rolex makes is made in my house. <laughs> Not my house. Everything Rolex makes is in their house. Yeah. See ya.